When you think of a robot mowing your lawn, you probably think of this. Sir, I told you not to water those plants. I told you to water the ones over there. Sir, 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 sir. But in reality, it's this. Is this a robot lawnmower or a tank? Check this out. From Kickstarter to reality, the Limo One just might be the best mower of 2025. Let's find out. Inside the box, you'll find the Limo One mower itself, the charging dock, and the RTK antenna. Everything you need to get mowing comes in the kit. No parameter wires required. Setup is surprisingly easy. I place the dock about three to six feet from the house for a good line of sight. The RTK antenna goes in a clear spot with no tree covers. Honestly, once that's done, it's mostly just firmware updates before you're ready to mow. Now let's talk numbers, because this thing is stacked, cutting width of 16 inches, cutting height adjustable from 1.2 to 4 inches. Dual rotary blades that spin up to 6,000 RPMs. Mowing speed, 1 to 3.3 feet per second. It's super fast. Battery, 15 amp hours. 39 volt lithium pack with three hours of runtime per charge. And the recharge time is roughly about 90 minutes on the faster charger. That's enough to cover up to 25,000 square foot, around a half an acre on a single charge and up to 1.7 acres per day if your lawn is simple. Okay, let's cut some grass. This thing is surprisingly quieter than I expected. Around 68 decibels, about the same as a vacuum. But don't let that fool you. With its track design, it lays down stripes like a pro. Check this out. <laughs> My lawn went from messy to carpet level clean. And you could do different designs. I did a chessboard. The production model feels tougher than the prototype as mentioned. The chassis is tighter, more refined, and the blades are now made out of magnesium steel rated for durability. You can even sharpen them yourself or swap them out. There's even an optional swing blade system that flexes if it hits a rock, which saves the motor. Side discharge mode is also available if you're tackling taller grass. Limo One uses RTK GPS Plus V SLAM, giving it centimeter level accuracy with 3200 feet. It connects over Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or even 4G. Obstacle detection, AI vision, plus five ultrasonic sensors. In testing, it got within one to three inches in borders without needing no-go zones. Lee 
leaves, twigs, brushes, even mulch, it handled it with ease. This mower can handle slopes up to 45 degrees, which is insane. Most robot mowers struggle at half that. I tested steep terrain and not only did it go up and down, but it can also mow sideways without tipping. Let's talk about the app. The Limo app is packed with customization. Adjustable blade speed, mowing speed, you can even set different heights for different zones. Change stripe angles or mow in zigzag, chessboard, or even just plain straight lines. Even program headlights for night mowing. And for peace of mind, it's got built-in anti-theft features. All right, so some pros and cons. What do I like about it? Well, honestly, the power and the speed. I've never seen a mower cut this fast. It cuts like a traditional mower, but not a fragile robot. In terms of stripes, they're thick, clean, and consistent. And the battery, swappable. Charges fast and holds up to 2,500 cycles. Slope handling, it easily is the best I've ever seen. But it's not exactly perfect. The app does take some time to learn and setting it up is a bit time consuming. And occasionally the mower can misalign or hop zones, though the firmware updates will definitely approve that as time persists. Now the price. The Limo One retails at $29.99, but currently available at $24.99, not necessarily cheap, but considering the power, durability, and of course the speed, it's one of the strongest options in robotic mowers today. So robot mower or tink? Honestly, it's kind of both. The Limo One has gone from kickstart and dream to a serious contender in 2025. You want a mower that doesn't just maintain your lawn, but dominates it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and of course subscribe for more future videos. And if you didn't, hit that dislike button twice and we'll see you in the next video. Take care guys, bye-bye.